All right, today's gonna be a little bit different video, way different actually. Uh, my true passion in life, more than firearms, is working on hot tubs. Oh my god, I love working on this thing. I get to do it all the time. It's about as good as working on my Dodge all the time. It's just joking. Uh, anyway, I wanted to make the video to show about a heater. So a lot of times, if your heater quits working in a spa, a lot of times people they just change a the whole heater. You really don't have to like the heating elements in here. This thing's old. It's been last a long time. This is the problem here. This is a pressure switch. So if you lose water, you get low flow, it shuts off your heater. And you can see that one. Well, it's actually broke off. It just kind of fell off when I was taking it apart, but it's all corroded. This is a switch. So one way you can test it is. When that switch was hooked up, I was only getting like 10 volts. That's the positive to your heater. That's the ground. So you just take your meter, you know, put it on 200 alternating current volts, AC volts, and try to like put your positive there, ground there. You should be getting 120 volts. So I switched or, uh, Put them wires together kind of cancel out the switch and there's 120 volts and it got hot so i mean if you needed to you could run it that way this part here for this particular one is 50 bucks so like so a lot of people lose by the whole thing you know cost them over 100 to fix it when all you know just 50 bucks right apart and to take this one apart just sits right in there a couple bolts comes right out so yeah, if your hot tub's not working, pull the side panels off, make sure your power's turned off. I hate getting shocked. And uh, don't worry about like this jumper cable. I just, you know, <laughs> that's how I do stuff around here, brother. <clears throat> but yeah, if your hot tub's not heating up, it's probably that. Like I said, the heating elements last a long time. I mean, this one, what year is this thing? What's it say, 94? No, 99? That is 99. Yep, this was made in 99 and they're still good. So yeah, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions on a hot tub, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I have lots of experience with them, unfortunately, especially this particular one. All right, so yeah, uh, after looking on eBay, I found this one, exact same one, 3037P, uh, for $22. So uh, this just literally screws right in there, screws right out. Just don't have much, much pressure, just put some tape on there, some Teflon tape. So there you go, for 20 bucks, you can fix your spa. I mean, if you had someone come do this, it would cost you a pile of money. So there you go.